Welcome to To Enable Help. Uh, in this module, I'm going to explain how to uh, edit questionnaires. And I'm going to start off with an existing questionnaire, so one that has not, one that has been created and contains some questions. So after you log into your application, I'm in the um, out of browser version. So there's uh, there's no web controls at the top here. Uh, it, after you log in, you go to your name and you drop down the supervisor menu and you go to questionnaires. Okay, it immediately opens a search screen and, and you then select the learning area that you wish to uh, edit. So if I search for accounting grade 10, for instance, what it should do is load up all the assessments for accounting grade 10. Um, you can see here how many questions have been loaded into uh, each of these assessments and how many questions have, uh, are required and the time limit for each of these assessments has been allocated by um, the person who's been creating this, this resource. You can select at the top here, you can click on any one of these headers and you can change the order of it. So for instance, if I want to do uh, step order number 10, I double click on that and it obviously opens up my questionnaire. Now in my questionnaire, are a whole lot of discrete questions and it's important to understand that once a question is created it is a resource which can be used in any questionnaire okay so uh, we have a questionnaire which is a framework and within that questionnaire we have many questions and these questions once created can be used in other questionnaires okay and and each time you use a question in a questionnaire you can change the mark value so in this questionnaire it's accounting grade 10 cash and credit transactions and it tells you that there are a number of questions that are going to be asked are 10 questions. Okay. The, where this number comes from is the sum of these four numbers here. So 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10. That's where the number of questions come from. And in this table, this table tells you how many questions in your questionnaire of the freeform type. So there are two freeform questions. There's 24 multiple choice questions. There is one true or false question. And there are no practical questions. So it's saying when a user does this uh, questionnaire, we must deliver seven out of the 24 multiple choice questions. So these will change from test to test. The free form, they'll obviously get both of the free forms that have been created, and they'll also get the, the single true or false question. So those are unlikely to change in, in an assessment. But in this space, it will randomly pick seven of the 24. So that's how you get the 10 questions, and there is the, the the number of questions in, in the assessment and in this case uh, the user has been given 15 minutes to answer this questionnaire. So these are all the questions here and it's and on the right hand side you can see more detail of, of the question. It doesn't show you all the detail. Okay, for instance it tells you it's a multiple choice and it gives you uh, the question but it doesn't give you the answers. So if you want to see the answers or make a change to the question you obviously be, got to be in edit mode as usual and you select the question you wish to edit and you click on edit and it will open up the question for you so now this is a distinct resource it's a question that can be used in any questionnaire it's called cash and credit transactions it's a multiple choice type you can't change the type once you've created the question and the question is which of the following subsidiary books are or is or relate and maintained for data's control account okay and there's a really uh, a bit of an error, so I'll correct that while we do it. There's a sales book, is option one, and it is not correct. Okay, so this is the correct answer. All of the above, all of the given options is the correct answer. So these are three options are incorrect. So when they do the multiple choice, they'll be given these four options, and they obviously got to select the correct option. And if they select the incorrect option, what it is telling them is that they need to revise this resource. Okay. So a simple thing is when you do this question, this is the right answer. You don't have to revise anything. If you get the wrong answers, you have to revise those three items. So I'm going to save and close that because I made a change to it. And question saved correctly. So it's possible to repeat this process uh, for each of the questions. And here you can see uh, the cash invested by the owner is recorded on there and in this case it's the capital account and if you pick one of the wrong answers they say please revise concepts of a sole trader so 
what you can now do with this questionnaire, now you're in a questionnaire, is you can actually create a new question which you can add to the questionnaire. You can duplicate an existing question, and this is really for free-form questions, okay, where there's, a ru where there's an answer rubric. So to add a new question, you can select question, new question, or you can duplicate an existing question which will create a new question in this questionnaire for you. If there's an existing question which exists somewhere else on the system, you can add that question. So this is where you actually do it at the bottom. You come to the bottom and you click add new row here. And as you know, this is a link to another, uh, it's generally links to another resource. In this case, it links to a question. And I can search for a question name. So I'm going to go capital and I've got no idea what results it will return for me. In fact, it's returned nothing. So let's go income. So what's important is to understand what the name of the question is. So here's an income statement question at the bottom here. It says clubs membership fees. Anyway, this gives you the details of the question. I can then accept that question. And here you can see I've inserted that question into this questionnaire. At the moment, it's come up with a zero mark value. So if this was, for instance, a question being used in grade eight, maybe it's of mark value two. But if it was in grade 10, it would probably be a simple question, in which case you could make it a mark value one. So in this questionnaire, I can make that of equal to two, two marks. Obviously, I've made a change. So I would need to hit uh, to save the questionnaire. And, and that is how you add questions which you've already created and have been used elsewhere in one of your other questionnaires. If you want to create a new question which does not exist on the system, you click on the new question uh, icon. And if you've got a rubric, you would then use the duplicate question uh, rubric. So now what I'm going to do is, is, before I say this, because I don't really want to add income statement into, the, into this questionnaire, is I'm going to delete it. There's two things I can do. If I don't like this income statement, I can unlink this question from this, this row. So if I click the red button, are you sure you want to clear the question? It's cleared the question. The question still exists, but it's and what it's saying to me is I need to link a different question here. So I can now go and I can link a, uh, an alternative question and now I've linked an alternative question. If I wish to delete this questionnaire from this questionnaire, I select the row and I press the delete button. And there the button, and there you can see it has disappeared. So I'm going to hit save on that. And that is how you edit an existing questionnaire.